Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And let me uh, start by offering my uh, deepest uh, sympathy and sincerest condolences to uh, Chairman Grijalva uh, and his family for the loss of his mother. My uh, wife, Carmen, and I uh, will keep the Grijalva family in our thoughts and prayers. Um, Madam Assistant uh, Secretary, I'm deeply concerned, and I think um, a number of members on the committee have, have expressed uh, with the administration's decision to relocate the Bureau of Land Management's headquarters out of the National Capital Region. And uh, despite multiple requests, which I'm sure you've been made aware of this morning, uh, from the committee's chairman, the administration has repeatedly failed to provide even the most basic of information about the move. 97%, um, as you know, of the BLM employees are already located out of the National Capital area, and the employees that are in the National Capital Region are here out of what I think are kind of necessity and proximity to the department headquarters as well as the White House. Uh, and that's why I joined my, my colleague uh, from around, and my colleagues from around the region and co-sponsoring Congresswoman Norton's bill to require the BLM headquarters to remain in the region. I also joined my colleagues in co-sponsoring legislation to require all federal agencies headquarters to remain in the National Capital Region unless Congress provides for its relocation. Um, so I think that the administration's move uh, puts uh, institutional knowledge and expertise of the federal government at risk. Uh, this relocation would uproot the lives of hardworking uh, federal employees and their families, many of whom live in my congressional district, uh, or force them to find new work elsewhere. And I think that this move would have real significant consequences for my constituents as well as the overall mission of the agency. So, Assistant Secretary, um, can you share with us how many staff have left the BLM as a result of this move? Uh, Congressman, I don't have that information. I do know that there has been an extraordinarily concerted effort on behalf uh, by the Bureau of Land Management to ensure that no persons lost their job. Um, to my knowledge, only one or two people left as of now, as of today, um, are still being worked with for positions, um, but it has been a very significant effort. And with respect to Congress, um, it is my understanding, and again, I, I can certainly go back to the head of Bureau of Land Management, but that the Congressional Liaison Office will remain here in Washington uh, for the purposes you described, which is that they can better communicate with Congress on all these important matters so they will not be relocated west is my understanding. So thank you. And it's my understanding that 80 staff out of, out of the 170 uh, have already um, left uh, as of January 23rd. Um, do you know how many of these employees who have left are, were senior level staffers? No, I do not, but I do know that there, a lot of them are still within the department. There was a very uh, strong effort made starting several months ago that asked all of the other offices, and I'm, I'm one of them, asked all of us to be sure to hire BLM staffers who were not interested in moving west. I, in fact, was lucky enough I appreciate that. to get one of those great people. The committee has found that much of the diversity in the BLM workforce can be found in the National Capital Region office, roughly 41% of black or African-American BLM employees were located in the District of Columbia office before the relocation began. Of the staff who have left so far, do you know how many are African-American? No, I do not, but I can And I would, I would certainly commend that you look into that because, you know, diversity, and as you even suggested in your response to the last question, diversity in the workforce, diversity inclusion is important. So I think it's important that uh, we always measure and, and consider the impact on diversity and inclusion when we're making decisions like this. Um, and uh, so perhaps my final question here, uh, what are you doing to ensure that BLM relocation does not result in a loss of diversity? Um, we, are, we are not seeing any loss in diversity within the department or within BLM as far as I know, but I will certainly uh, get back to you with some information. Great. I appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I'll yield back.